Here at home, less than a month away from observing a total solar eclipse. Central of Texas will be one of the best places to view it. Schools have canceled classes in some cases. Several counties have even issued disaster declarations because of an expected massive influx of visitors. Fox's Lauren Rangel has more on why the eclipse is such a big deal. With a telescope in hand, Dr. Mark Batorf eagerly waits for April's total solar eclipse. I'm just about busting. <laughs> it is Yosemite. It is the Grand Canyon, We're all rolled into one times 100. That's how fantastic it looks. It's his third time witnessing an event like this. The last one passed through Wyoming in 2017. Finally, when the moon covers up the sun, uh, the sky turns a sort of royal blue-black color. So it appears like a sunrise and a sunset on the horizon for 360 degrees. In central Texas, the Earth, sun, and moon last all lined up like this more than 100 years ago, making this upcoming one historically significant. It's comparatively rare for the local population. Cities and counties are preparing for crowds like they've never quite seen before. With the increase in visitors, there could be a degree or limited cell service in the area. Um, we won't know until um, that weekend of. It might seem excessive, but Batorf says the preparation for this cosmic muse is no joke. There's going to be millions of people coming this way to view the eclipse. After watching the total solar eclipse in Wyoming, his two hour drive turned into 12. It was wall-to-wall -wall traffic, bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic for, for over 100 miles. The best way to prepare fill up on gas, food, and maybe most importantly. Just to try to relax and enjoy the event. And that was Lauren Rangel reporting. If you scan the QR code on your screen, it will take you to our website, fox26houston.com. You can find a full guide on how to prepare for this rare event. It includes state parks reservations. The eclipse is set to take place April 8th. The totality will last about four minutes, stretching from Texas to Maine, crossing through San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth. Don't forget you need special glasses to safely watch it. In Houston, by the way, we will get about an 80% view of the eclipse.